Hey guys, so let's talk about how I got into collecting figures. Um, it all started with this guy. Now, I've always enjoyed toys and figures and all that stuff, but back growing up in the 90s, there weren't any figures um, with this amount of detail, so I kind of fell off at the wagon and I just I didn't collect anything through my teens. There was the random Star Wars figure here and there, but other than that, I pretty much had given up on collecting figures. And now, what really sparked me to go back into collecting them was this guy, of course, on uh, the Figma Skyward Sword Link. And the reason being that I have always wanted a Link figure and they never made one. I mean, there were a few, but like there was like a Nintendo Power one. I know they did one for Majora's Mask, but it wasn't something that was, you know, commonly known, widespread. I, it, back then, if you wanted a Link figure, the most, you know, one of the things that you could get was the bendy keychain one, which is just a little keychain figure. Still nice because it's bendy, so it has a little bit of articulation, but nothing like this was made. So one day I'm just on the internet and I, I see this Link figure. Now the figure wasn't released, it was just an, an announcement. I was like, darn, that looks awesome. And so I went ahead and I went to Play Asia, if I remember correctly, and I got my hands on it. I pre ordered it, I waited, it got delayed, then it came out, and I got it. And after, you know, well, I, I bought it, but I wasn't thinking that it was gonna look as good as the pictures. You know, it showed us because if you guys know, a very, very long time ago, um, it still happens. I mean, Hasbro with their Star Wars lines. I mean, how many times have they said this is the best detailing ever? And then they go and they show you the figure, and then the figure comes out is crap. You know, and they they lie like that all the time. You know, that's why I don't buy any Star Wars Hasbro stuff anymore. That's why I'm focused on collecting these premium collectors as such figure arts, Figma, Mayfax. Uh, Mason Jamaguchi, Bring Arts, that's why I collect those type of figures. Now, I got Link, saw him, saw the details, saw how good it looked, um, how well it functioned, the articulation, it just brought me to this point that I was like, hey, I really enjoy Link, I wonder what other characters they have done, and I started looking at this Miles website, I saw all these Figmas and all that, I was like, darn, I have to get it collecting them, but at the time, you know, I didn't have a really stable source of income, I didn't um, have this drive that I have now, so I wasn't making YouTube videos or any type of content, you know, but this is the one that started it all, you know, I've always been a fan of Link, I have always um, thought that Link deserves to be an action figure. Um, there's multiple links that I want as action figures, honestly. Ocarina of Time Link would be pretty awesome. Fierce Deity as well. Um, obviously, the one from freaking Breath of the Wild. Hopefully, the second game we get a new, another version of Link from Figma. That would be great. And it just started me on this path that I want to collect as many Nintendo figures because I want to have my own Smash Arena and all that stuff. That would be pretty awesome. But yeah, that's how I started into figures if you guys were wondering and that's what sparked this and this figure is what I basically owe my YouTube career to. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.